Mercedes appear to be at a crossroads as they will soon have to decide their driver lineup for 2022. Many feel that they have to choose between their current driver Valtteri Bottas and current Williams driver George Russell, who is a graduate of their development program. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has now given his views on what could happen as quoted by F1 Insider. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Marco gives honest opinion on Russell Bottas' contract situation for 2022. Marco was asked if Russell will be signed by Mercedes for next year. He responded by saying, It would be the logical step. You can't hold it off any longer. He further explained how otherwise it would be a waste of the resources Mercedes have put behind the development of Russell. Otherwise, the funding no longer makes sense, even if Hamilton won't be happy. He was then inquired about the future of Bottas if he is indeed dropped by Mercedes. Marco replied with a joke, Bottas doesn't have to call us. He signed off by suggesting the realistic option in front of Bottas. There is no space. Actually, I can only imagine a swap with Russell. I think Williams will be the only option for him. Fast feed. Aston Martin team principal Otmar Safnauer has stated that they've added significantly the amount of people they had since they were Force India. The new factory is on track. They have started building already, and it's a big, big program to recruit even further. He added that they are about 535 people now, and they will get to about the region of 800 or whatever the right size is under the cost cap. They are strategically working on that now and trying to recruit like-minded individuals that want to come work for Aston Martin Racing and go racing at the highest level, Otmar added. Alpine's Esteban Ocon has explained that it feels like so long ago that he was at the start of his home Grand Prix in France. So he's very ready and looking forward to doing it again this weekend. Obviously, he didn't race in 2019 and there was no French Grand Prix last year. So he definitely has extra motivation and energy for this race. He thinks everyone in the team is desperate for a good race on home soil. Marcin Budkowski, executive director of Alpine Racing, added that a home race is special for every team. Alpine is a French brand headquartered in France. While the Formula 1 team is mainly based in the UK, so they could even say they have two home races. He added there are more fans supporting them in the stands, VIPs and executives from the Renault group, and so the extra pressure to perform. However, once the race weekend starts, everyone is focused on getting the most out of the car, the drivers, and the whole team as they do at every race. Haas driver Mick Schumacher feels that they put in a good team performance in Azerbaijan. They didn't take it easy. They worked their way to the front, and with the result, they can be satisfied, especially with the advance to ninth place in the Constructors' Championship. He added that the upcoming triple header will be intense, but it will also be fun because they will be spending more time as a team and constantly driving. He added that physically, he's not worried anyway. He had prepared for the season very seriously. Every kilometre of racing counts and enriches the experience. Mick explained that during training, you can of course simulate and practice a lot, but the best driving experience is a Grand Prix. You can't simulate the pressure in the race. Laurent Mecky, sporting director of Ferrari, has explained that of course they were happy with pole in Baku. But they also kept their feet on the ground because it was clear to them that they would not be able to maintain first place in the race. If Bottas is not signed by Mercedes next year, what options does he have? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.